Ryan with Mr. Geek here, and this is a first power up of the QDX. I almost called it the QDX Mini, but it's just a QDX. <laughs> it's already Mini, there isn't another version. So, what I'm going to do here is go ahead and power on QDX. And I've got, I have a 14 volt bench supply, that, which is right here, uh, this guy, but I also have this. Uh, 12 volt battery pack Which I'm going to start with because it produces a, it doesn't produce 30 amps <laughs> uh, it Just makes me feel better. So here we go And we have blinking lights And solid and now plug in USB And we'll see what my computer says. It says we're setting up a device, UDX or QDX transceiver. Me, uh, uh, it's, the message is gone, sorry. Device is ready, QDX transceiver is set up and ready to go. That is a beautiful thing. Uh, I'm very, very, very happy right now. Like, I'm not kidding you. I'm really happy. All right, so let's take this over to the computer and continue with this. And the first thing I'm gonna do before I try to actually use the radio is I'm going to get it the firmware updated. So um, there has been a firmware update already. So I'm going to unplug and then plug back in. And now unplug while it's flickering like that and plug it back in. And now it's steady flashing. And now I actually have QDX available on the computer. So let's go, let's go check that out. Okay, so I'm over at the computer now. And you may notice that this doesn't look quite normal. And that's because I remoted into my ham radio computer, which is uh, over, over here from me. Um, so my workstation is actually not, my, my radio computer is not my regular workstation. And so I've got them separated. And so I'm currently looking at the manual here. So what I'm gonna be doing now is I've gotta go here and download the latest firmware. So I'm gonna download 1.01. .01. And I'll just throw that on the desktop. And we'll show it folder, right click. And you can see QDXF here, so we'll extract all. All right, 101.QDX, and all I'm gonna do is I'm going to Control C, click, and um, let's check the manual. I think all I need to do is, let's see here. As soon as you copy the new file to the QDX QFU flash drive, the QDX QFU bootload erases the current program from its memory and installs the new one. Okay, so I think that means all I need to do is Control V, all right, right click. Oh, there's no paste. Okay. Yeah, I didn't control C very well. <laughs> we'll grab both these files. Nope, the wrong ones. Okay, there it is, 101.qdx. And we'll, oh, I'm clicking on all the wrong things here, uh, forgetting which computer I'm in. And. Pop the new one in. Okay, it does not want to do that. So we'll do it this way. And it immediately went away and is rebooting. 
and it has rebooted. So let's check device manager. And let's see what we have here. Yeah, it should be under sound. There it is, QDX transceiver. Very happy. All right, so let's set up WSJTX and see what happens. Now, the manual for this says, let's go up in the manual here. Okay, here we are. So we'll use the QDX transceiver for input and output. And then Kenwood TS440, pull interval 10. And the serial port is probably going to be COM4, I would imagine. That's the only serial device on this computer. So let's fire up WSJTX and make it match all the screenshots that hands provided. All right, let's go to configuration, file settings, radio, rig control. Kenwood TS440 on COM. Oh, I think we could do COM4 here. And let's check the documentation. Pull interval, I know needs to be 10 seconds. No more than 10 seconds. And PTT method cat. Okay. Cat control COM4, and it says 9600, so we'll do 9600. Audio should be QDX transceiver. Wonderful. I think that's it. Power is up high. And let's set the band to 40 meter. And let's go check the waterfall, shall we? Look at that, we have signals. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start this because I'm gonna start this at uh, 200 Hertz. And there's November 7 Kilo Oscar November calling. Now, I'm calling him and we are putting out, no, I'm on battery right now. We're putting out just under three watts. So we're on battery. <laughs> And it's just under 12 volts. <laughs> We're putting out about three watts. Let's see if we get a QSO on our first try. DN16, uh, yeah, that's not very far. That's uh, California, I think. Oh, first, instantly. First QSO even attempted. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now I've only the only radios I've ever had are a Kenwood. Um, What's well, behind me? Is it a TS one forty S? And my Bidex. I've never owned another radio that can do this. It is really weird. One, not hearing a relay click, and number two, um, not hearing the you know anything clicking. Just dead silence. Um, yeah. Happy. <laughs> Definitely happy. Uh, yeah, now it's time to go, let's see, that was it. <laughs> Just check our propagation here. Looking really good. By the way, the antenna here is an NFED half wave on 40 meters, uh, which is about 66 feet long. So it does 40, 20, 30, and 10. Sorry, 40, 20, uh, 15, and 10. I take that back, not 30. So... Why don't we try FT or JS8 call? So I'm gonna switch this to JS8 now. 
and let's go turn off WSGT-X. Thank you for the QSOs. And yeah, we know, rig control error. We don't have a BitX40 anymore. Well, we have it, but it's not connected. Okay, all right. So radio. Kenwood TS 440S. Cat. Um, cat control com four ninety six hundred baud rig options PTT cat and we should leave yep we got we're good there. Audio, it was just auto detected the QDX. So let's go ahead and set this thing to 40 meters and see what we get on the waterfall before we start transmitting. Let's go ahead and just do a heartbeat. This is one of the reasons I love JS8 call. Okay, the LED is flashing on the QDX, and we're putting out uh, not very. Oh, we're not putting anything out because this needs to be all the way up. Now we're putting out three watts, so that ain't gonna work because I didn't do that until halfway through the transmission. It is now sending. Sure is nice to have it quiet. <laughs> All right. Now we see if we get uh, any heartbeat responses here. looking pretty good yep there we are from cam4 sqk oh wow w7 qar oh man um yeah lots lots so it works <laughs> let's go check the map i love jsc or uh, i love a uh, ps carry porter so yeah we're getting good propagation there uh all on three watts so if any of you are worried about, oh, I wanted a 10 watt radio, or how can we, we'll do a full five watts or whatever. I mean, I'm getting this on three watts, guys. Um, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I know this is, video has gotten a little bit long the long side. Um, I think we're at 14 minutes at the computer and I think we're probably around 10 minutes over at the radio. So I'm gonna go power this thing with my shop power supply, um, the, the bench power supply, which is a solid 14 volts. Hopefully you don't let any magic smoke out. And thanks for watching. All right, just one quick update. So the QDX is now living at its home on my shelf next to the big giant Versa tuner. <laughs> and it's putting out uh, six watts, which I know is a little bit excessive and I'm gonna be looking at whether that's sustainable or not. So anyway, thanks for watching, 73.